Coldplay. It's been two years that I've reviewed Coldplay's latest EP. Uh, I think it was called Kaleidoscope. I didn't really listen to that EP that much. I reviewed it and then after that, I didn't really come back to it. But don't let this fact distract you from the fact that I'm a Coldplay fan. Honestly, I am because Coldplay has a great discography, a lot of awesome songs. It's just Coldplay. The, their music is not comparable to anything else. It's just really its own sort of ground, its own thing. And I really love the sounds they explore, melodies, the lyrics, uh, Chris Martin, you know, his voice, everything is just amazing. Uh, I love it. And then now we have uh, this new album coming up, Everyday Life. It's gonna drop in November. And we have two songs from it. It seems like there, it's a double disc album. Totally, we have 16 songs. I'm here for it. I'm really here for it. I am ready because it's been four years since the last album. I, I'm not gonna say that I really loved it, but there were some good songs. Probably my favorite album is still Viva La Vida. That was a great album. It made, it made my uh, Europe trip. I was in Barcelona back in 2012. And yes, Viva La Vida dropped in, 20, in 2008, but I, at that time I was just listening in 2012 uh, to it again for the first time really focused because before that I was listening to it in the car when my dad would play Coldplay, but I, I wouldn't really like download it myself and listen to it, but I did listen to it in 2012 and oh boy, that was an experience. And also what was amazing is that when I was in the stadium in Barcelona, in Camp Nou, uh, my life, you know, the dream came true. They also, in the stadium, they played the Viva La Vida song and it was quite popular uh, in Barca to play this song uh, at that time. I don't know why, even if the song didn't drop in 2012, it was not a hit at this point. It was already like four years ahead, but they still liked to play this song. And also uh, Avicii's levels, for example, it's still, you know, soccer stadiums do play Avicii's levels um, even if you know the song is quite old at this point right but it's a classic and I feel like people from Barcelona consider the Coldplay's Viva La Vida uh, single as a classic so here you go Coldplay Arabesque let's start with this song I'm really excited I've heard a lot of good positive things I, I want them to shock me hopefully it's gonna happen Arabesque by Coldplay. First reaction, let's go. I feel like there's a music video just because of these noises, the background noises. No, there's no video actually. What is this? This is not, <laughs> this is not Coldplay. <laughs> Bro, okay. How is this cool play? But this is good, don't get me wrong, this is really good actually. But I'm just, wow, okay, what a transition. Play that saxophone, come on. Okay, now you're gonna stop. <laughs> Are they speaking French all of a sudden? <laughs> Damn! This is a soundtrack for the movie! That guitar though, the saxophone... Yeah, this is really nice. This works perfectly. This is what I'm talking about. This is... This is music, goddamn. This is what I'm talking about. Not fucking bullshit radio hits that we're having now, but actually fucking arabesque ask songs. Are you hearing the saxophone? <laughs> it keeps going! It keeps going! <laughs> Is this Tom and Jerry now? <laughs> Tom and Jerry chasing.
Music is the weapon. Music is the weapon of the future. That's what Chris Martin said on this song. And he is fucking right. This is a fucking 10 out of 10. This is more than 10 out of 10. This is bigger than life, goddammit. This is a song of the year fucking shit. God damn it! Alright, I'm excited now at this point. I'm too excited because maybe this is probably not a, like song of the year of the year. But damn how great is this production. How great this song is structured. This is bigger than life. This is like one of the most unique songs I've heard this year. This is what I wanted. This is called creativity. This is completely transformational shit. This is completely new Coldplay. What happened? But I mean, it's great. It's great. We know what uh, Coldplay is capable of. Them being one of the greatest bands in this fucking earth, you know what I'm saying? And uh, musical genius. Uh, and what's what, what's so funny is that this, they didn't even need Chris Martin on this one. <laughs> At this point, like we don't even know. I mean, I don't know. I I said Cold, I'm a Coldplay fan. Uh, I love the majority of songs, but I was not actually uh, so deeply invested in Coldplay so that I know every single member of the. Uh, Coldplay by their names, all, uh, you know, all apart from Chris Martin, I don't know anybody else. So they just told Chris Martin, okay, fuck off, we're gonna mumble you, like, uh, <laughs> turn your vocals into something weird, <laughs> you know, you can say whatever the fuck you want, <laughs> but mostly this is gonna be about the song, mostly, I mean, mostly it's gonna be about the musical aspects of it, you know what I'm saying, the sound, how grand we wanted to make, how beautiful we wanted to make powerful and it really felt like that and then uh, now they, they they made me want to learn about the other names of Coldplay's members because they deserve the recognition uh, let's just actually name name their names right now all right acoustic guitar guy berryman this guy on the fucking guitar bro incredible job johnny buckland lead guitar even the more important role, <laughs> pretty much, bro. You like own the spot. You ate that shit on that song. You you created a masterpiece together with Will Champion, who was on the piano. Uh, I think I don't really I didn't really hear that much piano on this particular song, but throughout the whole discography of Coldplay, uh, the piano was a really important part. And like. <laughs> It's just the clocks. You, you, if you, if you, if you fucking haven't listened to music this whole time, if you are a newborn child, the first song you gotta listen to is Clocks by Coldplay. You gotta listen. You gotta experience that. And then uh, Fix You, for example. I actually don't. I, <laughs> I don't really enjoy Fix You that much. But well, one friend of mine. Uh, Chris, he was always uh, mocking me when I had some uh, bad shit happening with girls, for example, like sad moments, and then he would play Fix You. Uh, if you get what you want, but not what you need. Like, say, with this fucking songs, bro, this Coldplay is legendary fucking band, bro. And I'm just so hyped that Coldplay delivered. And of course, uh, Phil Harvey, we forgot about you, man. I'm sorry. And Chris Martin, of course. He's a pianist. I didn't know he can play piano. But, but he's a, a singer as well of this band. Uh, Coldplay, bravo, bravo. I, I don't even want to listen to second song. Because <laughs> what if it's bad? I don't want to ruin it for myself. Uh, but like, Arabesque is fucking great. If the whole album uh, is like that. And we can see on the cover, they actually like behind the instrument, everybody. And it's like white and black. Uh, ask visuals meaning like they sort of um, they're playing on the classical elements of it you know what I'm saying it, it, it's gonna be something great this album I hope it's gonna be something great bro if if even like half of the songs can keep up with arabesque top albums of the year for sure orphans let's check it out Bass 
guitar, Chris Martin. Everything works smoothly and beautiful. Look at this. Hear this. Okay, um, Orphans. This song was uh, leaning towards more regular Coldplay uh, sound. Uh, it's not bad at all, but it's what we already heard um, at this point many times. Um, it's, a, it's a good song, but it's not something amazing for me. Uh, I would give it a 7. While I do like this song and I don't think there's anything wrong with it, uh, I just didn't really... Um, get excitement or amusement anything like that. it was just a good well written song but we heard this, this kind of songs uh, even in, in on their last album uh, adventure of the of the lifetime i'm sorry it, a head full of dreams adventure of a lifetime was an amazing single from that album but a head full of dreams was that album and yeah we, we got, got kind of stuff um from that album already uh so We'll see one song that is extremely extraordinary, uh, completely plays different uh, from their you know regular cards uh, of Coldplay's Arsenal. But this one, pretty regular Coldplay stuff. That's why it didn't really amuse me, especially after uh, Arabesque. But uh, let's say seven out of ten for uh, Orphans. And uh, Orphans, by the way, I just forgot to mention, did remind me of uh, Africa. I was imagining. Uh, African deserts, uh, forests, just their landscape. Uh, while listening to this song, I think it was intentional. The the, the drums and like the acoustics just try to remember you about Africa because what that's what African musicians use uh, when they uh, play when they uh, create songs. Yeah, man, I'm I am excited for this album. This is gonna be really good. Hit the like button if you like this video. I think we had a blast today. We had fun together. Um, comment below what you think about new Coldplay songs. Are you excited or are you tired of Coldplay? Have you ever heard of Coldplay even? If you have not heard Coldplay, please listen to their essentials or something. Get a life. <laughs> and then I'll see you guys in the next videos. Hit the like button, please. Support the channel. Subscribe. Uh, I wanna hit 4,000 subscribers. I mean, I think we have stuck in the 3,000 uh, like range uh, for a while now. So let's let's get things going to 4,000 at least, and um, uh, I will be I'll be a little bit more happy. You know what I'm saying? And the, the channel is gonna flourish a little bit more. Comment below, uh, subscribe, uh, click the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.